What's up, you guys? My name is Regina, and we just chat today. We just chat and look. I just feel like this is something you never want to do at your job. You never want to create this type of tension for yourself. So you and one of your coworkers, y'all don't been friends for a long time on the job. Y'all go to lunch together. Y'all talk about each other's kids and stuff. Y'all got a whole lot in common. Y'all compliment each other on your clothes and your styles. Y'all share information with each other. Y'all been cool since you've been on the job. But all of a sudden, a shift has changed in the relationship because sometimes we just tell our coworkers too much information, right? We get comfortable with them. We've been working with them for a long time, and we really think they have our best interests, right? <laughs> Wrong. When it comes to this thing right here, it can break your relationship. This is something you never want to do on the job. Don't discuss how much you're being paid on the job. You and your coworker probably perform the same job, but you may make $2 more, 20 cent more, 50 cents more. I don't care how much more, if it's more, people get offended and they get an attitude with you. Sometimes we just have to keep our mouth closed. We be talking too much, just getting too comfortable. People don't like that. I had an incident. I was young in the game. I didn't know in the battle. You have to realize some people have better negotiation skills. Some people have more education than you. Some people been doing the job for a long time, so they just an expert. So you just don't know what that person brings to the company in which the company feels like they need to make more. And so that's just one of the things I had to learn the hard way because I was in the office, I was young, didn't know no better, telling people how much I make. And some people was on the job for years and they were not making the same. They were not making how much I was making and they got offended and they was looking at me some kind of way. And it made me feel awkward in the relationship. I had this job one time, you guys. I'm a licensed social worker. And when you have a license, you can make more money because you can build certain insurances. It just gives you more skill and credibility when you have a license. So I negotiated my salary. They called me. They offered me the job. And I turned it down. I told them, look, you're not paying me enough money. I cannot leave my job and come work for you all. The money that you all are paying me just is not sufficient. It's just not enough for me. So... We got off the phone, we hung up, and a couple of days later, they called me back. They were like, I know you talked to somebody in human resources, and they were telling me that you were not satisfied with the salary that we were offering you. And so they began to tell me, they were like, what if we offered you $5,000 more? And I didn't say nothing. I said, hmm, let me think about it. And... I was like, I'll take the $5,000. And they was like, cool, but well, we'll draw up the salary and we'll get back with you. I have to take this to Human Resources to make sure that they approve the salary. So I was like, cool. So a couple of days later, y'all, they called me back. They was like, everything was approved. You're good to go. They are going to go ahead and give you the $5,000. I was like, yes, because I did not think that they were going to give me $5,000, y'all. But they did. Sometimes you do have to negotiate your salary. So that's just one example, y'all. Your girl did negotiate her salary. And this time, I didn't say nothing about how much I was making. Because I know the people that was working there was not getting the money that I was making. But I had an advantage, y'all. I had a license. When I got into the position... The lady, she told me, she said, the reason why you were able to negotiate your salary like that is because you did have a license. She said, everybody else that I interviewed, they did not have a license. So you just never know what skill somebody has or what education they have. So that's something you just don't need to talk about in the office because you want to keep a good atmosphere in the office. You want to keep good relationships with your employees, y'all. So I know y'all probably don't talk about your salaries, but when I was young and I didn't know any better, I did open my big mouth up a couple of times and I had to learn the hard way.
but that's just some of the reasons why some people's salaries are higher. I want to know, have you all discussed salary with your coworkers? Maybe you were young in the game. You didn't know any better. It was your first job. You just did not know. Have you all ever made a mistake and discussed your salary? People get mad. My sister told me one time. <laughs> she told me she was, she was um, friends in the office with this older lady, and she said that. Her and the lady used to talk all the time. They just had good working relations, good conversation and all on the job. My sister messed around and told that lady she was making five cents more. <laughs> five, yeah, that's what I said, five cents more than her. She said that lady had an attitude with her so bad. She said that lady didn't even talk to her anymore. Five cents, y'all. People get mad over some money. They don't care how much it is. Y'all put in the comments some of the things y'all don't discuss. I got a lot of stuff that I'm probably going to be coming on and talking about it. Because sometimes when you're younger, you just don't know. For you all who don't know, I like to talk about work-life balance on here. I've talked about how my job moved and now I drive over 130 miles a day just to get to work. And I I talk about my highs and my lows. One thing about me, y'all, I'm going to always keep it real with y'all. Ain't nobody smiling and laughing all the time. This is real life. When it's tough, I'm going to let you know when it's tough. When it's going good, I'm going to let you know when it's going good. I don't like the fabricate stuff. Sometimes a lot of creators, they like to show you all the good time. And it's like a lot of times when you tell somebody your true feelings, they don't like to respect you or they look at you a certain way. Look, ain't nobody perfect in this life. Everybody have ups and downs. And I'm just going to be real. I'm going to tell the truth of how I feel. Because situations and circumstances impact people differently and everybody gonna have a different response i'm gonna let you know how my response is all the time i'm gonna keep it 100 if it's going good i'm gonna let you know if it's going bad i'm gonna let you know if it's going bad and i like people to be that way with me i don't like people faking with me i don't like people telling me they live in a soft life because life is not soft all the time now if you can afford to have a soft life all the time good for you but over here i have highs i have lows i have i have times when it's going fantastic and i have times when it's going horrible and i'm gonna let you know about that but i'm just getting in y'all it's it's a sunday today and i went to church i did not let you all know i told y'all about my side hustle that i do selling on ebay in which i'm about to go into this room and list something take a lot of pictures of some things and i'll get the listing in the morning but i also i'm a musician i'm a musician at my church i play every sunday and that's another stream of income. So I'm always on the go. I'm always busy. Playing the piano is my gift, and I get paid for my gift. So I'm just not getting home, y'all. I got up this morning. It was, I left out of the house this morning, going to church. It was 9.30 when I left. It's 7.21 now, so you all know I'm tired. And I got to get up and drive that 100 plus miles tomorrow. Plus, I have to go to my um, daughter's meeting at school. So I'm already tired thinking about it. But I know I'm going to get through. Even though I may tell y'all some doom and gloom and responsibilities and things like that. Just know I have faith in God. So I know that my ending is always going to be good because I know that God has me. But I just like to create discussions just so we can talk about things like adults, y'all. That's all I'm doing. We can talk about stuff intelligently. I don't care if you disagree with me. As long as you talk about it in the comments intelligently because we adults, right? So we talk with intelligence. We don't have to be rude. You don't have to be rude to talk about how you feel. So... That's all I have, y'all. Y'all let me know some situations or some things you have heard of or did in the office that was just, that created some tension. Some things that you talked about that created a shift in the office. But I'm going to go, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get some things done for tomorrow. 
And I'll see y'all on the next one. Make sure you all take care of you when you're on those jobs. Take y'all some time off. Get you some self-care in and write in that journal. And you all stay positive. You all stay blessed. Make sure you shine bright. I'll see y'all on the next one.